Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. So just a quick summary for the ones who are confused. This young lady was invited by Browatis to hang out and she was exposing everything. And the reason we know it's Browatis is because Jasmine commented the X and this girl was giving too much detail about the tattoo that Browatis has, about the basketball playing. And everybody just assumed that this is Browatis and Jasmine confirmed. Get ready with me while I tell you about a bad date experience. Okay, before I do tell this story, I do want to mention that this guy is a YouTuber. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is so that way you guys can help me understand his mindset. Okay, so this all began on Instagram DM. In our first conversation ever, it was just, hey, what are you doing? Where are you from? And he had also mentioned how he wanted to show me around his house. After that first conversation, we didn't continue talking consistently, but he would slide up on my stories every here and there, and I would slide up on his every here and there. One day, he had asked me when I was going to be where he lives, and I had told him that I was actually going to be there that weekend. So then he told me that him and his friends had plans to go out and he said even if they don't go out to still go over to his house. So then the day comes and we had planned to see each other. So I had asked him if they've decided if they wanted to go out or stay in. That way I knew what to wear. So then he tells me that we were going to stay in and that he would pick me up from the hotel that I was staying at. So then, once he got to the hotel, obviously, I went outside and I got in his car. And we were actually 30 minutes away from his house. So for those whole 30 minutes, that whole car ride, we were just getting to know each other. And honestly, it went really well. He was like, you do modeling, right? I saw your Instagram and I was like, yeah, I do. He's like, how'd you get into modeling? You're just bad or what? And I kind of just started laughing. And I was like, you do YouTube, right? I saw your Instagram and he was like, yeah. So then we get to his house and we park in his garage and he had asked me if I like dogs because he has a dog. And I had told him yes, that I love dogs and that I have a dog. And he was like, okay, good, like, cool, you know. So we get out of his car and we walk in his house. So then as soon as I walked in his house, I met his dog who is super cute. And his friend was also there. And as soon as his friend saw me, his friend was like, oh my gosh, like, you know. And I kind of looked at him like, what? And he's like, I'm so sorry, but you're so pretty. You're beautiful. And I was like, oh, thank you. And inside, I was like, yes, you know, because points. Long story short, his friend mentions a party. And they start asking me if I want to go to the party with them. They said if I didn't want to go, that we would just stay at the house and hang out. That they didn't mind doing whatever I wanted to do. And I had told them that I didn't mind either. If they wanted to go, we could. That I would just go with the flow. So then they tell me that they want to go to the party for an hour just to show face and then leave. And I had told them that that was fine with me. So then his friend tells him to take me to his closet to let me pick out a sweater since it was a little cold so that's what we do we go to his closet and he gives me one of his sweaters and then after that he ended up giving me a tour of his house then we walk back to his garage and his friend actually drove us so his friend was in the front and then me and him were sitting in the back and i was actually in the middle and then he was next to me the party was another 30 minutes away from his house, so for those whole 30 minutes, we were just in the back seat, vibing, getting to know each other. We had the same taste in music, which was pretty cool, and he had also put his hand on my lap to hold his hand, so I did. Once we got to the party, he held my hand, walking into the party and while being at the party. 
the whole time that we were at the party we didn't really get to talk because people were coming up to him every second asking for a photo with him so that part kind of sucked but the good part is that after he would take a photo he would come up to me he'd be like are you okay are you good he was always checking on me so that's good okay i like telling my stories in detail so i couldn't get it all to fit in this video so i'm going to need to make a part two on how it ended get ready with me while i tell you about how my date went okay so still at the party we ended up sitting down and these people had came up to us who were there at the party and they had told us that we should go downtown with them the guy that I was with kept telling them no, that he didn't want to be out late because he had promised his friends that he would be up at 7 a.m. to go play basketball with them. So then he had asked me if I wanted to go and I had told him again that I don't mind. So he ended up getting convinced and he tells me that we're going to go for an hour, show face, and then leave. So since we had decided to go downtown, we had left the party and again me and him sat in the back seat and as soon as his friends started driving i noticed that the guy i was with didn't have his seatbelt on and not to sound like a karen but i did tell him to put his seatbelt on for one obviously safety and also because his friends driving was kind of crazy so then he looks at me and he's like did you really tell me to put my seatbelt on and I was like, yeah, why? And he's like, no one's ever told me to put my seatbelt on. Just marry me already. For that whole car ride, he held my hand again. And even once we got downtown, he held my hand walking all the way to the club. While we were walking to the club, he was holding my hand. And out of nowhere, his friend comes up to me and he puts his arm around me. And he starts walking away from the guy I was with. And he's just telling me, okay right now you're my girlfriend i'm gonna buy you one of these roses he's like you're with me right now he's like i'm sorry but he can't be seen with any girls right now he just got out of a public relationship and i was like oh, okay you know and i turn around and it's because people were taking pictures of him once we got to the club i kind of just let him be and i just sat down just because of what his friend had told me that he can't really be seen doing anything with anyone I didn't want to seem boring, but I also didn't want to just be there dancing alone, so that's why I just sat down. So then he was like, you're really quiet, aren't you? And I was like, no, honestly, there just hasn't been time to talk to you because there hasn't. At the party, I couldn't, and then there at the club, I couldn't. The only time we were able to talk was in his car and at his house. And I'm gonna be honest, I am not that type of person to throw myself at someone. If I see that he's busy doing something, I'm not gonna throw myself at him. I'm gonna wait until he comes up to me or until he- Find what you're looking for on Bumble. done so then the club was closing so everyone starts leaving and we're just waiting and as it's clearing out the friend that we were with who was driving us he spots a girl leaving in the crowd and he starts tapping the guy that i'm with like look at her you know trying to get him to notice this girl and he gives him no attention he's minding his business talking and the friend goes up to the girl, he's like, let me get your number for my homie. And I was kind of shocked because I'm out with this guy and he's trying to get another girl's number for this guy while I'm with him right in front of my face. The girl ends up telling him no, so then we start walking out of the club. While we were walking out of the club, he sees her again, so he goes back up to her and again asks for her number. And this time he does end up getting it. So we walk back to his car and once we got in his car 
he was like were you this close to leaving and i was like no why and the reason why he said that was because when he had first picked me up on the way to his house i had told him that i'm a homebody and i don't really like going out especially clubbing and he had told me he's the same way so that's why he was kind of joking like were you this close to leaving and i had laughed and i was like no he's like did you have fun or did you want to leave i was like no i had a good time and then i was like actually i was this close to leaving and he was like what why what did i do he's like i was loyal to you the whole night and i was like no i know i was like you didn't do anything but your friend over here so then his friend was like what what did i do and i told him like how i heard him and saw him get that girl's number for him and i was just telling him like look you know i'm not his girlfriend or anything but out of respect, like, that's pretty rude to do, you know? And he was like, I swear I didn't do that. He was trying his very best to convince me he didn't. And I was just like, you know what? Forget it. We're good. Everything's good. Like, forget it, you know? Call me crazy or dramatic or whatever. But you guys, to me, you just don't do that. Okay, again, I didn't get to finish telling the rest of this story, so I'm going to need to make a part three, hopefully on how it ended. Get ready with me while I tell you how my date with the YouTuber went. Okay, so after me telling his friend about the whole club situation, we ended up going to the gas station because they needed to put gas in the car. They had both stepped out to put gas in the car, and i stayed inside the car waiting while i'm sitting in the car waiting and they're putting gas i could literally hear their conversation and what they're talking about and basically the guy that i was with was telling his friend that basically he was messing up the whole date for him and he was asking him what he did and the friend was just saying that he didn't do anything and the guy that i was with just kept telling him that he was messing it up for him once they got back into the car things kind of went back to normal he was holding my hand we were vibing and at one point i was looking out the window just because i was looking around there was a lot of people out and he had grabbed me by the chin and turned my face towards him and he had told me to he was like stop giving me attitude and i started laughing because i wasn't i was just looking out the window honestly just looking around i had noticed that it was almost three in the morning so when we were on the way back to his house i had asked his friend if he can drop me off back at the hotel they were both like no like we're all gonna go back to the house we're gonna chill for a bit and the guy that i was with was like yeah like we told my dog that the three of us were gonna go back to the house together so you're coming with us so i was just like okay you know that's fine so once we got back to the house we kind of just all went straight to the kitchen and we were just hanging out on the way to his house i had told him that i was hungry but nothing was really open because obviously it was already really late so he had told me that he had pizza at his house so once we got there we started eating pizza and they were just talking about how they both had a really good night after that the guy i was with went into his room and he didn't come back out for like 30 minutes so i was just sitting on the table on my phone and his friend was sitting at another table on his phone after he comes out of his room again we're just talking for like only a few minutes and then he mentions how he needed to be up in a few hours to go play basketball with his friends and then he goes back in his room and i start telling his friend like should i leave you know because you know when you have company and you want them to leave but you don't want to tell them so you just go hide in your room i thought that that's what was happening you know but then i was confused because i had asked them to take me back to the hotel and they both told me no that they wanted me to come back to the house so i was confused and i didn't understand what was going on so his friend was like no like trust me he wants you to be here like he's just stressed out right now blah 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 so then he walks back out of his room he walks out with his laptop and i had told him i was like hey i'm gonna get an uber to go back to the hotel and he was like okay and he goes and sits on the couch 
and it's literally silent for like five minutes silent it was so awkward the reason i had told him that i was gonna get an uber and leave was because the whole night he kept mentioning how he had to be up in a few hours to go play basketball so i was like maybe he wants to go to sleep you know i was just being generous and then he also just left me in the kitchen for like a whole hour and a half and i'm just there and then he comes and sits and it's quiet like it was just weird and i didn't want to overstay my welcome i forgot to mention right after i had told him that i was going to uber home he had quickly gone back into his room and he messages me his address and he tells me he's like oh here's my address for your uber if you want to stay though you could stay and i was like why are you texting me i'm literally in your kitchen like you can tell me so then that's when he walked out and um while he was sitting on the couch i had gone up to him after it was quiet and i was like hey like is everything okay he's like yeah why i was like are you sure he's like yeah he's like i'm just editing this video and i was like okay and it stayed quiet because it was so quiet and awkward and i could literally feel that the vibes changed i went up to him and i was like hey do you mind if i wait outside for my uber and he was like no so then i go up to him and i was like bye it was nice to meet you and he was like it was nice to meet you and i go outside i kind of started thinking maybe it's because i said something about the club but i didn't tell him anything i told his friend and also after the whole club incident in the car like he was being all lovey-dovey so i'm like that can't be it i literally don't know why his vibe changed but i'll continue the story in part four get ready with me while i tell you about how it went hanging out with the youtuber okay the reason why now i'm saying hanging out instead of date is because it wasn't a date it was more of hanging out Okay, once I had gone outside, his friend had followed me out to wait with me until I got picked up. For a few minutes, it was really quiet and super awkward. Then his friend was like, are you sure you want to leave? And I was like, yeah. He's like, okay. And he starts shaking his head and he's like, you're messing up. And I turn around and I was like, me? How am I messing up? And I was like, do not see how he's acting. And he's like, no, yes, I do. He's like, you just don't understand. He's really stressed out. His YouTube video has to be up in the morning and something is wrong with it. So he's just trying to figure it out. And I said, how is that my fault? I said, he could have communicated with me. He could have told me like, hey, hold on. I need to figure something out really quick. But instead, he just decided to be weird and ignore me. Then he was like, okay, you know what? I don't know why he's treating you like that. If I had you here, I wouldn't be acting that way with you. He's like, I don't know what happened. And he asked me if I wanted to stay in his room because he had already been staying there for two weeks. And I had told him no. He's like, I'll sleep in the living room. We could take you back in the morning because it's getting late already. So I told him no. And then he was like, do you want me to go talk to him? And I said, no, you know, because no like with the way he was acting i wanted nothing to do with him then he was like hold on and he goes inside and i just stay outside waiting so then he comes back outside and he walks up to me and he was like okay this is what you're gonna do you're gonna go back inside you guys are gonna hug it out and both of you are gonna act like nothing happened and i was literally so confused i was like what in the bipolar is going on here so can you guess what I did? Yes, I ended up walking back into the house. Okay, I will for sure finish the ending of this story in part five. This week on Reality Stars. Today is the day I confront John about all his lies about Monopoly Go. You stole billions from me! You thought I wasn't gonna notice? I landed on a bank house. Of course I'm gonna steal from her. That's literally what you do in Monopoly Go. I'm done! I can't take the bad stabbing anymore! I just, do it. I just stole another million from her.
Get ready with me. After we walked right back into the house, his friend had walked me into the guy's room because that's where he was. As soon as we got into his room, the friend leaves and closes the door. As soon as his friend closed the door, me and the guy at the same time, we were both like, what happened? And I had told him to tell me his side first. He was like, you were acting weird. And I was like, no, you were acting weird. Then he told me that he was just really stressed out about his YouTube video because it had to be up in the morning. And I had told him that that wasn't my fault, that he could have communicated it with me. And he could have told me like to hold on or something. Then he brought up how I told him that I was going to get an Uber. And he's like, yeah, and then you were the one who wanted to leave. He's like, I wasn't going to force you to stay if you wanted to leave, like then that's up to you and i had told him the only reason i was gonna leave was because of how you're acting and i told him like you kept mentioning how you had to be up early so i thought like you wanted to go to bed because you kept mentioning all night how you had to be up in the morning to go play basketball so i was being generous and i mentioned how he also just left me in the kitchen he said that he had left me in his kitchen because he was trying to figure out his youtube thing and he was like, I'm sorry, I should have told you something, I should have communicated, you're right. And he had also said that he was making his bed. I do know for a fact that he was making his bed because as soon as we walked in the doors, he had walked to his laundry. And I heard his friend yell, why are you doing laundry right now? So he was probably getting his blankets and that's when he went in his room to make his bed. Then he was like, can't you tell I was feeling you all night? And I was like, no, yeah, I can. But once we got here, that's when the switch up happened. And he was like, it was just because of my YouTube video. And then he wanted to leave. And I was just like, okay. And he was telling me that he thought I wanted to leave because I wasn't having a good time with him. And I had told him no, that the reason I wanted to leave was because of how he was acting. So then we kind of just both started laughing and he was like, I think it's a misunderstanding from both sides. And I did agree with him that it was a misunderstanding because from my side, I'm over here thinking that he doesn't want me there. And then from his side, he's thinking that I didn't want to be there. So it was really like a communication thing, it seemed like. Then he gives me a t-shirt and some sweatpants and I go in the bathroom to change. After I had already put on my shirt and pants, he just walks in the bathroom and he sees that I'm trying to tie the pants because they were really loose and he grabbed the strings and he tied them for me. After that, he goes and sits on his bed and before I sat on his bed with him, I put my clothes on the dresser right next to his bed and I took my necklace off just because I don't like laying in my jewelry and I put it on top of my clothes. So then we're sitting on his bed literally just talking. So then after talking for a little bit, he was like, you're so hot, can I have a kiss? And I kind of giggled and I was like, no. Then he was like, wait, I see what you're doing. And I was like, what? And he was like, you're trying to punish me from earlier. He's like, that's kind of hot. And I started laughing because that's funny. And I told him, no, that I genuinely just didn't want to kiss him. He has a tattoo that says stay humble on his arm. And he was like, you really made me stay humble. I just thought that was so funny. He was so surprised that I didn't want to kiss him. And he had told me that he's never been denied a kiss before. He had asked me why I didn't want to kiss him and I just told him the truth that I don't just kiss anyone and that I literally just met him that day. And you guys could call me innocent or whatever you guys want, but I really don't go around just kissing every guy I hang out with. And we let the whole kiss thing go and we just continued talking the rest of the night and throughout the night I kept asking him like if he wanted to go to bed just because I didn't want to be the one to keep him awake and he kept telling me no, no, no. He wanted to keep talking and he kept talking. Throughout the night, we kept talking about the whole incident that happened and we were just laughing about it. And then he kept bringing up how he was super shocked how I didn't want to kiss him. He kept saying, damn, like... So even after I didn't want to kiss him, he still wanted to keep talking throughout the whole night. Our conversations were good and it was just going really good 
it was going so good that we ended up staying up until 7 a.m just talking our lives away so then finally at 7 a.m he was like okay i'm tired i'm gonna lay down for 30 minutes until 7 30 to go play basketball so we both lay down and we just cuddled i don't want to make this video too long so i'm going to leave it off here and i'll continue the rest in the next part